Wisconsin. All right, back live. Springfield's morning news on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's news and talk. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. You can always find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And that's also where you can find live videos if we have in-studio guests, just as we do now. Chris Richmond from Moving Pillsbury Forward with us. Uh, Pretty exciting, Chris. A lot of people in the public uh, given the opportunity to uh, see the site that's been talked about and debated about for years. uh, That's had such an impact on this community. Uh, Tell us uh, where we're at right now and uh, how the public can get a glimpse of what's going on there at the uh, Pillsbury Mill site. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it is exciting that we've reached this point in the project where we we took possession of the site earlier this year. We did the environmental testing. We now have cleaned up the site to the extent that we can actually have ground level tours at the site now. So So you had uh, last weekend a a tour of some of those who've been helping out with this overall process. Talk a bit about uh, uh, what you guys did and uh, how much of that's going to carry over to coming up this weekend. Right. Last weekend, we put out tours to to folks that have been close to the project, that have been engaged in the project. We had about 35 people tour the site last Saturday at noon. Uh, Tour, we walked for about an hour. I planned it for an hour. Talked about the history of the buildings. Last weekend, we actually had a a retiree uh, from Pillsbury on on the tour with us. So he he, uh, got to tell a lot of the folks on the tour about his experience working at Pillsbury. It was just fascinating. So history, uh, a good up-close personal look at all of the structures that are there. Uh, it was a good time. So, so coming up this weekend, uh, after uh, you guys have uh, had some some tests done at the site, uh, you guys acquired the site not long ago, uh, working with the community to try to, to get an understanding of what's next for the Pillsbury Mills site. Uh, and I imagine uh, the tour that you have for the public is is possibly going to provide any even more insight and suggestions of what the uh, the site could be. But uh, give us the details on the tour this weekend, what people need to know and where they need to go. Right. So details of the tour this weekend, Saturday at noon. The tour is going to last about an hour. We ask that folks come to the main gate at Pillsbury. It's at the corner of 16th and Phillips. And uh, the tour anticipated to last about an hour, perhaps a little bit longer. Wear some heavy-soled shoes, wear warm clothes, and certainly bring your camera because it's visually spectacular. So, again, uh, that's going to be public to the public. Uh, talk about how you guys have gotten to this point because, I mean, there was at one point concerns that uh, there was uh, some, some, some bad uh, uh, substances out there, asbestos, a variety of other things, but uh, the Environmental Protection Agency putting out a report, and uh, what did that ultimately say? Right. We did did an awful lot of environmental testing over the summer, as well as site cleanup. So throughout the summer, we used hundreds of volunteer hours to clean up over 700 cubic yards of rubbish that was strewn about the site. All that's cleaned out, all the excess vegetation, the weed trees, all that sort of thing. And then we did the environmental testing, and now we understand that the soil's not dramatically contaminated. This was a food-grade facility for a long, long time. Uh, so it's just as we suspected. It's not overly contaminated, and it's perfectly safe to to walk on for a tour and, and to work on uh, to to do things at the site that need done. So again, that's Saturday, a public tour, uh, and about noon, you said? Yes. Uh, the tour takes off at noon. Should last till 1, maybe one thirty. Uh, we're excited for some good weather, and we'll we'll have a good time. I'm sure, I'm sure it's a last chance to really see the site before we start bringing buildings down. Yeah, and uh, you're going to want to get out there and, and, again, take your camera. Uh, Chris Richmond, he's with us with uh, Moving Pillsbury Forward. And you talked uh, just briefly about how last weekend you had a, a, a tour, and there was indeed uh, a, a retiree from there. Uh, and uh, talk about how, how the – history of the site uh, should be preserved uh, because it's not just um, you know the the recent history with you know all the back and forth of uh, you know who owns the property it's also the the economic impact that the Pillsbury Mills site had all the jobs that there were the the kind of uh, you know stepping back into the, the time when Springfield had a large manufacturing base uh, how is that history going to be preserved that's 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 what we're working on right now. We've actually hired a historic photographer 
who is taking archival quality photographs of the existing structures. And we very much want to be put in contact with folks that have been associated with the site so that we can do those oral history interviews and hear the stories and get those documented. Uh, that, that is an important component. This is a site that, that opened in May of 1929. So, wow coming up on almost 100 years oh ago. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Uh, it actually, you know, started to be built in 1920. So 102 years ago uh, was the beginning of Pillsbury. It, it took nine years to get to the point where they opened the first wow. five buildings and went into production. So long storied history there. Farmers from all throughout central Illinois used to bring their wheat crops to Pillsbury uh, to cash them in in midsummer. Um, and have have them turned into wheat right here in central Illinois. So well, now we're uh, getting ready to see that uh, that page turn uh, to something new for that site. So uh, Chris, you uh, you're intimate with the site and people who are um, uh, kind of behind the scenes talking with various uh, others. I imagine uh, what what are some of the prospects for yeah. what could happen there at the Pillsbury Mill site? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's wide ranging. But you know, really, what we're aiming at is a total renewal at the site. We'll we'll clear the buildings and structures that are there, and quite likely, and what we're aiming at is some light or medium industrial that brings some jobs to the area, and perhaps even have a solar component there that helps support the electrical needs of the industrial component. Uh, we're we're tied into the grid. We've got robust utilities. You know, twelve thousand people live within one mile. It's a it's a great site for redevelopment. So we'll be watching that space closely, and of course, moving Pillsbury forward. The organization of uh, local uh, community members uh, making all of this happen uh, to to not only uh, uh, ensure that uh, the history is remembered of that site, but also to uh, make a, um, a, a a very a large impact on uh, the, the future of that site. Chris Richmond again, give us the uh, the details here of the tour that's coming up for the public on Saturday. Saturday uh, noon. Saturday at, at noon. Uh, corner of 16th and Phillips, main gate. We'll have volunteers there showing folks where to park and get situated for the tour. Look forward to seeing everybody. So bring some heavy-soled shoes, uh, you know, bundle up a bit. It might be a little chilly, but also grab your camera because you're going to want to take some pictures of all of this. Chris Richmond, thank you so much for taking time with us today, and we'll talk again soon, all right? Hi, thanks so much. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMA.